There's, is there a connection between our essential nature and Cocoa Puffs, right? I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but that would be included. Our, our essential nature and the dust of the ground. Absolutely. I mean, every bit of creation, the physicality of creation. Just, just, just think of this. God, I, I, you don't know what it means to exist outside of time, space, matter. We call this the simplicity of God. It is no means simple. But he doesn't have parts. He doesn't have extension in space. He's not made up of, of things. He doesn't have a hand. He doesn't have a foot. Now, now to put all of a sudden, make this creation of, uh, th there's things, there's parts, there's, there's, there's matter. I mean, all the world is made up of space and matter and even background radiation and, and, and stuff like that. We see density to this. Um, and everything is connected. And I, I would suggest that I think that's, that's seen in Paul's view of original sin and the impacts that it had on creation. If we read Romans 8, Paul couldn't be more adamant that when Adam sinned, an explosion took place that rippled through every degree and every atom of matter. And he says the whole creation groans and travails in pain. And he's, he understands, I mean, wait a minute, a tree didn't sin in the garden. It, it wasn't like the, the tree said, whoa, no, wait. God said you can't eat. Ah, eh, no, go ahead, have some. None of creation sinned except for Adam, but because there is that inherent connection between all of God's created universe, when Adam sinned, the ripples, the, the effects rippled into all of creation because there's very much a connection.